Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video. It is still freaking hot, so it's a, an extremely quick one. Uh, I cannot concentrate on anything. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good videos will start soon, hopefully back again uh, after some rain outside or something. <laughs> Yesterday, the, th the thermometer showed me 51 degrees Celsius outside insane um yeah quick video uh i was doing some projects and in version 15 and version 16 i realized there is a slight difference that confused me in the first place so i thought let's share it let's share the knowledge uh the difference is this boop if i zoom in a little bit um in version 15 of tia there is in project i can archive my project and then retrieve the project archiving is putting your whole project in one file and then saving it on the server or somewhere where it's safe forever basically making a zip archive that zip archive is called a zap in this case uh, but yeah we have archive that puts it in the archive and retrieve that opens up the file again and makes the whole project out of it basically opens the zip file that's version 15 right version 15 extremely simple i go here i go archive i select the source path that's the project that oh whoops um i go project archive I select the source path that's basically the project that you've got open and I just choose the folder where I want to archive to the target path which in this case let's put it on the desktop I say sure I'll archive this and now the whole project is saved in this one file here if I want to get my project back let's say I have accidentally deleted my whole project it's gone what do I do project retrieve and then it's still there I just open the archive and I, I unpack it in the same folder that it already exists, so I'm overwriting the old project. And there it is, it's opened again, right? From this one file. That's archiving it in version 15. Version 16, I was wondering, because it's, it's strange. If I go to my, I've got an open project, I go to project, I have archive, but I do not have a retrieve, right? In version 15, I have archive to put it in one file, retrieve to open it up uh, from that one file again. Here I don't, I just have archive. The archiving is the same process. I go archive, I have uh, automatically, this archiving selects the project that you have open. If you do not have an archive or uh, a project open, you can choose one with the source path. Usually you do it with the project that you've got open. Right? <clears throat> uh, you want to archive it as a compressed file. Uh, of course, always, whoops. My goodness, why do I keep forgetting this? So yeah, you could choose the source path here if you do not have a project open. Um, then I have, I can archive this as a compressed file. If I don't do it, it basically just saves the project as, that doesn't make sense. Discard restorable data. If you do this, then the file will be a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, the file will be a little bit smaller, but it will, take longer to retrieve an archive so don't do that or and we can add the target uh, the date and time so it will just add the current date and time to the name of the file i usually don't activate those because windows knows when the file was made so i can archive i'm still archiving on the same place i hope did i select the desktop yeah there it is i select the desktop and there it is archive retrieve and now i cannot retrieve there's no this retrieve button it's gone you see it does anyone see the retrieve button it's gone, it's just archiving. With version 16, they made it a little bit easier. You just go project and you can just open the file directly. Project open, I browse and on my desktop, I can now select the file, right? I can just select the file. And when I'm selecting the file, it asks me, where do you want to retrieve that project to? All right, so I could choose this here. It already exists there, so I say yes. Uh, well, that was an error that should not have happened. I cannot override because the project's still open. <laughs> that makes sense. Let me close this project here. Yeah, I can open a project and I can just choose the project that I have um, archived. Here we go. I can save it anywhere. I'm overwriting the project. This one says, do you want to overwrite the project because I'm saving the same path that I just archived it from? I say yes. Now the project is not open anymore, so I can actually override it. <clears throat> and I've got my project retrieved, right? So the button is gone, but the process is a bit different, but it's still there. So no need to worry. The first place I was like, where is my retrieve? But you just open the project. Uh, what you can also do in version 16 is actually I can open and you see it here. I can just go to my desktop and I have the version 15 project there. 
right? You can also retrieve directly version, 15, version 13, 14, and 15 projects, right? So I can just retrieve, I can open this file, right? The zap archive, the archive project from version 15. I can just choose any folder. There we go, it ex already exists, yeah, I want to override. And it will automatically upgrade your program to version 16. And it will automatically upgrade it when you uh, retrieve a version 13, 14, 15, 15 15.1 file. Zap archive. This takes a minute or two. Uh, no, not even, it's a very, very small project. I just have a PSC in there, but yeah. So that's some changes on the archiving pro uh, process. Um, it's more convenient this way, but I was like, where is my button? I forgot my button. So good. As I said, only very quick video. Sorry for that. My apologies, but at least you got something. It is very hot outside. So you can see I'm also like, shimmering. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And thanks for being patient with me with the videos that I did lately. Also missing some appointments, but that's how it is. That's life, man. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that. Uh, I'll keep you posted. I will keep this up. Uh, I hope I can make some better content or some more in-depth, some more um, technical content when I uh, do not have 40 degrees Celsius anymore in my room here, or which is right now at, I don't, I can see it, something 30, something too hot. So thank you for watching and stay safe, stay healthy, and maybe have some water, cool down everyone. That's very necessary. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.